I'm pretty sure we saw Brian Goddard with his feet up, perhaps even taking a nap in the weather center this <laughs> afternoon. Oh, yes, because the weather was so beautiful. I mean, you just putting it on cruise control, didn't you? I did. This is what it's like to do weather in San Diego. <laughs> Record something and come back in six months. <laughs> I got to cover up those windows in there. You guys are spying. That's not good. Uh, another just beautiful looking shot outside. The sky has been so blue. Enjoy it because that will be changing. I'll explain why here in a second. 73 is the current temperature. A light easterly breeze. Last night I was out on chill in the hill in Bayview and that breeze coming off the lake was keeping temperatures in the 60s. Now it's still out of the east but it's lighter, so that cooling effect is really close to the lakefront. Sky is clear all around the state. The wind lighter today, thanks to this high pressure that was north of us yesterday, has settled just to the east, so we're getting that very light easterly breeze. The rain you see off to the west will be here maybe by this time tomorrow to the west of us, but for sure after sunset here locally tomorrow night. There's that wind between 5 and 10 out of the east, keeping the lakefront a little bit cooler. If you have plans this evening, oh, you are so lucky to be outdoors. I should say if you have outdoor plans, 67 degrees, mostly clear and beautiful by around nine o'clock. Just a light wind. Get out there and enjoy current temperatures. Still 80 out toward the Dell 75 Beaver Dam, 74 in Burlington, a little bit cooler at Port Washington at 65 degrees off to the west, low to mid 80s from Eau Claire to La Crosse. The Twin Cities right now checking in at 86. Some of that warmer air building into the west and getting closer to us, and that will be the case over the next couple of days. We'll keep the easterly breeze uh, along the lakefront tomorrow, but then the wind does begin to shift overnight tonight. As I mentioned, a gorgeous evening by nine o'clock in the mid sixties overnight tonight, mid fifties, and then by tomorrow morning, uh, well, we'll quickly start to warming up. We'll be in the mid sixties by around 10 o'clock. Here are your highs tomorrow. 78 in Watertown, increasing clouds late in the day, so not as clear as today. 73 in Sheboygan and Racine, 76 in Waukesha. The dew points continue to be dry. That is why the air or the sky is so blue. The air is dry, no haze. But with the increasing humidity back off to the west, that will be here by this weekend. And that sky won't be as blue. It'll be hazy and that summer looking uh, sky. Nice dry air tomorrow, a little bit more humid on Friday, and then it gets humid uh, over the weekend. Temperatures tomorrow in the 70s, then cooling down into the 60s along the lakefront with a very light easterly wind getting close to 80 elsewhere. Future forecast shows quiet conditions tonight and most of the day tomorrow, but then you get here after sunset. We'll get some thunder showers rolling in here and they'll be out of here before you wake up Friday morning. Rainfall we're looking at about a quarter of an inch or less. Here's your seven day forecast. Trust me, that's at all zeros. We'll get about a quarter of an inch. <laughs> 76 for Thursday, 73 for Friday with a few thunderstorms early in the morning. Uh, windy and hot and humid on Saturday, 87 degrees. That's a 91 on Sunday and 88 for Monday.